Hi, I'm your host Vivian and today we are going to be learning all about how block mountains are formed. Block mountains are the type of mountains that are formed through a process known as faulting. Now let's make this simple as we understand first the word fault. A fault is a disintegration or a disconnection or a crack in rocks. Let me elaborate. When you have a huge rock like this and you apply some kind of force onto it, it breaks. So that disconnection between the rock or that crack that appears on the rock is what we call a fault or a fault line. So it is from this small word fault that we get the word faulting. Faulting is the entire process through which rocks of the earth's crust are broken down or cracked and displaced from one position to another. The earth is made up of three major layers and on the most outer part we have the earth's crust this is the part which we see where we grow our animals where we settle on now when we dig a little bit deeper inside we find the earth's mantle this part of the earth goes for about 2900 kilometers at the center of the earth there is the earth's core which has extremely high temperatures now because of these high temperatures rocks in that part of the earth are in molten state the movement of the earth along its axis is what generates different kind of forces inside the earth's core. However, today we are only going to be looking at two kinds of forces which are tension and compression forces. First, let's look at compression force. As the name suggests, compress means to press together. So when compression force devolves in inside the earth's crust, that means that rocks are moving towards each other. And because of this movement of rocks, cracks are created inside the earth's crust. These cracks are known as folds or fault lines. Over a long period of time, because rocks are pressing onto each other, the middle block rises to form us a block mountain. Block mountains do not typically appear in this shape because over time, the side rocks have been broken down by wind, water, through a process known as weathering to produce the present day appearance of block mountains. The second kind of force that leads to formation of block mountains are tension forces. This means that rocks on the earth's crust are moving away from each other. Now over a significant time because of this movement, cracks are created on the earth's crust which we refer to as faults or fault lines. When the fault lines are built on the earth's crust, because the rocks of the earth's crust are moving away from each other, the middle block sinks, leaving the two side blocks standing in their original positions. This middle part that has sunk down is what we call a graben, and sometimes it is filled with water to form a graben lake such as Lake Albert. Well, these two standing side blocks are what form block mountains. Sometimes they actually form rift valleys such as the Great East African Rift Valley. And like I stated in the previous video, Renzori is actually a block mountain, not a volcanic mountain. So today we learned about how block mountains are formed and we said that two forces that lead to its formation, that is compression force and tension force. We also said an example of block mountain is Renzori in East Africa. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel.